Hi there, it's Teresa from MusicReadingSavant.com and today I wanted to show you even more relationships that we can find between the music rests. So when we start here we have um, a piece of pie, you can think of this, and that represents a whole rest. Um, and we know that the whole rest is worth four counts. If I were to take this pie and split it in half, I have two pieces. Each piece represents a half rest. So this tells us that half of a whole rest is called a half rest. So now it kind of makes sense where that name half rest may have uh, came from. Now if I take the same piece of pie and divide it into four pieces, I have a quarter rest. So one out of four, a fourth or a quarter is a quarter rest. That gives you an even deeper understanding of why they call a quarter rest a quarter rest. So this is one out of four pieces. It is a total of one counts. When we take a look at the pie over here, we divide it into eight pieces. And if you look at this one piece here, this is one out of eight or one eighth, which gives us the name eighth rest. So we need to have eight of these in order to equal a whole, a whole rest. When we look at the 16th rest, we need 16 of them in order to equal a whole rest, and one piece of that pie is one out of 16, or 1 16th. That's why it's called the 16th rest. So this large piece of the pie all equals a whole rest, or four counts. So we need two half rests to equal a whole rest, four quarter rests to equal a whole rest, eight eighth rests to equal a whole rest, or 16 of these 16th rests to equal a whole rest. So now you know that these rests, how they decided what their names are and what they came from is all due to the whole rest. And that's the relationship that you see here. Hope this helps you get a little bit deeper understanding of, of music rests and how they're related. Thanks so much. Bye.